हेलो दोस्तों हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू गाइस आर गुड सो दोस्तों टुडे टॉपिक इज ऑल अबाउट इन एनसिबल वर्किंग विद वेरिएबल एंड फैक्ट get it so if you are new here i am tip safi and i'm so much excited to share this topic to you but before that uh, we get started if you have not already make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss any of my future videos now let's jump right into working with variable and facts so working with variable and facts in ansible allows you to store and manipulate data during your automation task variable can hold values that can be used throughout your playbook while facts are preset variables so the, uh, that's uh, provide information about the managed host so here an easy to understand example of working with variables and facts in ansible so example is you want to deploy a web application on multiple servers and the applications requires different configuration based on the uh, environment for example development staging production get it so defining variables in ansible you can define variables either in your playbook or in separate variable files get it so let's define some variable in our playbook first is name name is deploy web application second one is host host is web servers right third one is vars right so in vars uh, first is app name uh, is my app and environment is production so in this so in this example we have defined two variables first is app name and environment right so the app name variables stores the name of the application while the environment variable stores the deployment environment get it second is using variables so once you have defined your variables you can use them throughout your playbooks for example you might want to create a directory with the application's name so first is name right here you write your name uh, right so create application directory and then file and then path path is this and then state is directory get it so in this task the app name variable is used to construct the path for the application directory get it third is gathering facts so ansible gathers facts automatically about the managed host providing useful information that can be used in your playbook for example you can gather the ip address of the servers so first is uh, right here name and then gather server facts and then gather facts is yes so once the fact are gathered you can access them using ansible facts variable for instance to display the ip address of a server you can use get it so uh, name is display server ip address and then debug where this right so in this task ansible fact variable is used to access default ipv4 address on the of the server get it so next one is conditional task so you can use also use variables or facts in conditional statement to perform a specific task based on certain condition for example you want uh, you might want to install additional package only in the development environment not uh, web environment get it so you use this template first is name install development package then package name and then state then loop package 1 and package 2 then condition is when environment variable is equal to development get it so in this task the when condition check if the environment variable is set to development before installing the specified packages get it so by utilizing variables and facts in your ansible playbook you can uh, make your automation flexible and adaptable to different scenario and environment so i hope this is clear to everyone thank you uh, all for watching this video to quickly recap in this video we discussed working with variable and facts so hopefully you find this information useful and learn something new if you have any questions or would you like to share your thought please leave a comment below and don't forget to like uh, this video and subscribe to our channel for more content like this we appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video take care and have a fantastic day